Yes, I can help you. Looking for a costume. I looked at the wall behind me. In the aisles. Okay. Are you just undecided? Mm hmm. I completely understand. Halloween is exciting and you want to have, you know, a costume that stands out or represents something you like. I completely get it. Um, yes. Um, let me do a fresh page here. So, about... I need some information about you. Yes, that was what I was trying to say. <laughs> Alright, so can I get your name? Go ahead. Okay. So, about how tall are you? Okay. Yeah, I can measure you again. Uh, I'd like to get a precise measurement when I'm done asking questions and we go through some different options, okay? Alright. Um, yes. Okay. Are you looking for something scary or more fun or just, you know, a character costume? Mm. Not scary? No. Is this character, like, do you know what character, or are you looking for a specific genre of character? Like, um, there are, you know, the superheroes. Mm -hmm. No specific. Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. You're also a Gaelic general. So I can see by, I can see by your options here, you are pretty undecided. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the things you've mentioned. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, the purpose of the costume, let's go over that. So are you looking for a costume for a party or just specifically for Halloween? A costume contest? Both a party and Halloween? That's, that's pretty, you know, uh, pretty standard. Everyone, at least, I would think everyone, maybe not everyone, but, um, most people would frequent a Halloween party. Some people like to have two costumes, so, yeah, you know, you know, you know one for the party and one for Halloween. Are you looking to be like a group costume with anyone? You know how people do like um, a cop and a prisoner or bigger groups do crayons or M&Ms. Yeah, different colors. Mm-hmm. No, okay, you're doing this. Do you have any questions for me? I know, I'm asking pretty uh, random questions. This year, yeah, we were asked to be a little bit more specific when talking to a customer uh, to get the idea of what they want. But yeah, if you're undecided, it's okay. I can take you through some of the 
Hmm. Would you like to look at popular costumes or the not so popular ones? Because the popular ones are, you know, what everyone's buying and what everyone's going to be. <laughs> so, the not so popular ones would stand out, in my opinion. But yeah, I, like I probably mentioned before, the general ones. Yeah, we can look at those too. I'll just go grab things that I feel like are the most interesting or probably the ones that stand out to me. In terms of character, do you like certain video game characters? Do you like um, cartoon characters? Anime and video games, you said? Okay. Um, video games from... Like, how recent or how not recent? Last few years? Okay. Okay. And... Okay, I'll go grab some things. I'll just go grab some things and we'll, we'll, we'll talk about them, okay? I'll be right back. Let me go grab some. You can just stay in this general area. Check out the wall if you want to look again. And I'll be back. Alright, I'll be right back. So I just grabbed a few different things that we can go over. I grabbed mainly just parts of costumes. Because, yeah, a lot of these you can kind of put them together. Um, let's start with a general one. It's pretty simple comes with a little bow and a clown nose to be a clown. Um, now this you can dress up or dress down. You can be however clowny you want to be. <laughs> yes, but you know, this little bow tie and a nose is pretty much an easy costume right there. Uh, we do have wigs. If this stands out to you, we have wigs. We have fake clown shoes, um, a face makeup, you can find that in aisle five. Uh, yeah. And then you really, you know, to save money if you're looking to do that, you can get a t-shirt and some felt and stick polka dots to it. I know one year I was a clown and that's what we did. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty simple. Otherwise, we do have like full-on costumes. Um, yeah, I think you can see the main clown costumes on the wall, probably farther down this way. Um, I think we can grab some of the props. We have horns and stuff. We have little fake bow ties. Ours do not squirt the water. Or the little flowers, I mean. They do not squirt the water. But, you know, it's for show. So, yeah. Alright. So, you want me to just keep moving? Alright, yeah. I completely understand. If something doesn't stand out to you and you just want me to stop, then let me know. Let me list off what I brought over here. I almost forgot. Sorry, I think somebody's knocking something over in the next aisle. Mickey ears. 
this is wizard mickey but we do have plain mickey ears and we do have you know um different character mickey ears depending if you want to be pretty simple you can get mickey ears that have like buzz and woody decorated ears or we have some princess ears pretty, you know, pretty simple thing to do. You can wear a black shirt, red pants, if you want to be Mickey. Um, you could even, since this is Wizard Mickey, you could get part of a wizard costume. I know we sell just like wizard robes, so that could be an option. Mickey shoes. I think those would be more down the Disney character aisle, like the pieces, like with the princess stuff and all that. Yeah, I hope so. But I think those are like the ones you put over your shoes. Do you know what I mean? Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. So this is an option. Let's see, let me check. Next thing I have to show you, this is more fun, it can be more girly, more feminine, whatever you see fit. I've seen a couple, a couple dudes buy these as well, um, and there's no, nothing wrong with that, because, you know, they can be, they can be fairies too, they can be, um, what are those characters called? Can't think of the word. Um, nope, can't think of the word. Sorry about that. <laughs> but this, you can pretty much make any kind of fairy costume you want. This is a pretty, you know, the flowers are cream white, so that can go with anything. Could even be like a mother nature with this. This also kind of gives me toga vibes, but the flowers don't. Um, I'm wondering if we have just plain ones of these. Down aisle six. We have a bunch of random headbands and things, so there might be plain ones if a toga costume is appealing to you. But yeah, fairy, um, you can do a cream dress, any color pretty much, and wrap maybe not twine, I'm not thinking about it. Is it twine? Hemp? Cord? What am I thinking about? Raffia? Maybe I'm thinking about raffia. You could like tie that around your waist as a belt, make it look more, you know, like you pulled things from nature. And again, we do have fairy costumes um, that look like they're made from flowers, so that's an option. These are pretty much just pieces that you can play with. Mm -hmm. Yep, we got plenty of like witch pieces, um, clown like I showed you. We've got army pieces to, that you can like throw together. We've got decade pieces, so you know, we've got an 80s section, a 60s, a 70s, you know, we have a section like a whole aisle and they have different panels that stick out of the aisle. I'm not sure what they're called, but they separate the sections for you. Yeah, so 
so it's easy to find things if you're looking to do anything like that. So let's just keep going. The last thing I had since you mentioned video game characters, I haven't seen too many people do this costume. This is Clementine from the Walking Dead games. Have you played those? Yeah, even watching them is, yeah, if you're into the game, you're into the game, you know. I've personally played these games, but after I watched other people play them first, so I completely understand that. And this is just a hat, and you could be any one of the Clementines, because she has the hat. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty easy for that, though. Um, we do have, I think, the pieces from the fourth game. We have a whole costume for that, but for the other games, we do not have those costumes. But I do recommend going to thrift stores and kind of piecing them together that way. Yes, I've done that. I, I cosplay as her when I go to conventions, so... pretty much where I found my costumes. Yeah, so that's also an option. This stands up to you the most? Yeah. I get it, I get it. Um, okay, yeah, but we're still not sure. Let me ask you more specifically, is there a character you were thinking about in a character or anything specific that stuck out to you while looking through any of this or at the wall or you know, are you unsure of costumes? Okay, okay so you were thinking about Okay, so Yuki Cross. Can you remind me again where she is from? Oh, okay. Yes. Anything else? I know the anime costumes are a little bit harder to find, but I do think we have a few. Oh, okay, yes, no, I'm, I'm familiar with Nagisa. Yes. Okay, yeah, from Clannad, right? Yes. Now I can see why you're a little bit hesitant about asking for those. I know those are... I know those aren't always in stock here because they're not decent anymore. You know, in terms of relevance. Yeah, yeah. But let me go check in the back. I will take this stuff back right You what? Clementines and maybe if we can't get anything. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I'll keep that, I'll keep that here, and I will be right back, okay? Okay, so I'm back, and I did find a Yuki costume in the back. What size are you? Small, medium? Yeah, it kind of depends. I know this one is small, but it fits pretty big, like it's a bigger small. So, let me, let me take your measurements like I said I was going to do, and then I will look at the specifics for this costume, 
and we can get that figured out, okay? new shelf together. Yeah, like the front of the store. It's kind of crazy. Okay, can you like uh, hold your arms out for me so I can get your wingspan? Okay, thank you. do anything. Make sure you're okay with that. Okay. okay. Now can you lift your arms up for me? I'm just going to go around you here, okay? We also do offer costume fittings if you need anything adjusted. I know, yeah, we're kind of going all out this year. It's just something we're trying. Yeah, and, and they're more popular with the uh, more realistic costumes, as I think was the word I was trying to go for. Um, so this Yuki one is actual material. It's not like one of those kids costumes you see that are all like one piece and they just kind of slide into them. Mm -hmm. We have had a few adults get like the waist brought in a little bit, but that's it. Okay, so yeah, I think I only need to fit you for the top because the bottom is a skirt. So yes, I'll get your waist for that, but other than that, you know, no need to do super specific measurements with that. I believe it's a 20 inch skirt yeah, in length. So let me go around your waist. Is that okay? step away one more time. You can take a look at the costume. It's hung up right there if you'd like to look at it. Um, I'm going to go get the specifics for the costume and be right back and see if these line up pretty well. Okay. Okay. I'll be right back again. Let me just check. Okay. So, I think this costume is going to work out for you. It may need to be fitted a little bit around the waist, mm -hmm. but I think it'll be perfect. And of course, you can try it on. Mm -hmm. And let me know if you want to get any fittings done for it. And then if 
if you're pleased with it, we can check you out, okay? Okay, so yeah, go ahead. You can just take it into the dressing rooms over there. I'll be here waiting, okay? But someone should be over in a minute, all right? Okay. Yeah, so while you're waiting, just take a look at the costume wall, okay? Did you like the way it looked in the mirror? I think it fits perfectly, but yes, I do think it can be brought in a little bit more at your waist Unless you like the fit and you don't want it to be form-fitting. I know some people don't care for that. Don't don't need it, you know mm -hmm. Yeah, we can get you in for a fitting Yes How does um, next Friday sound. Good, okay. And is there a specific time that you're available? About 10? Okay, great. When is the party you're going to? The week before Halloween. Okay, great. I should have double checked that with you. I'm so sorry. Okay. So let me just sign this. Could I get you to sign this? I know it's kind of like silly and ridiculous, but yeah, with these with these uh, customer forms, they want them. Yeah. So here's the pencil. <laughs> That's because it's actual material. Yeah, it's an actual, like, uniform. So... So, you're happy with this then? I know it's kind of just clipped here, but... Let's see the Great. I'm so happy. Yes. What you doing? And we'll go over to make sure nothing's snagged. Alright. So would you like me to send this home with you or would you like us to keep it here? Yeah, we can keep it here until the fitting. I'll keep it hung up so it's not gonna get wrinkled or anything. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. Let me just scan and tag. Okay, yep. And I'll go in one second in the back when we get a second. And I'll put 
little piece of paper with your name on it. Yeah. And that you already had purchased it. So if you would like to just stick your card in the machine there, it's going to come out to $43. Yes, it does include tax. Yes. So yeah, go ahead when you're ready. I will click over information. To the costume. That with that. Yep, type in your pin and go ahead and remove the card. Great, great. Okay, and your receipt. There you go. Okay, great. Do you have any other questions for me? Anything else I can help you with? Yeah, so you'll just show up and you will give the clerk at the front, whoever's here, your name and they will send you back to kind of where we were by the, um, by the costume wall. And yeah, there's a little corner there where we have a room for the fittings. <laughs> Pretty simple. <laughs> Alright, so... I might see you back next Friday then. Alright. It's a pleasure working with you. Thank you for coming in. <laughs>